Hello everyone, welcome to another turtle video. In this video I'm going to show you how to properly take care of red eared slider or turtle and make sure to subscribe for more. Turtles are fun pets to have, but they also require a little extra care and maintenance. One of the most important parts is setting up the perfect habitat with clean water, a heating lamp, and plenty of space. Then, feed it a healthy diet of plants and protein and take it to the vet once a year. Turtles can live for over 20 years, so with the proper care, you can enjoy your pet for a long time. Pick a tank that's at least 5 times the size of your turtle. Multiply the length and width of your turtle by 5 to get the minimum dimensions of its habitat. Use a tank that's at least 30 gallons, 133.5 liters, for a turtle that's 4 to 6 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters. If you have a baby turtle that is going to get bigger, you can start with a smaller tank appropriate for its current size and then move it to a larger tank as it grows. Add non-chlorinated water that's 77 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Fill the tank with water depending on the type of turtle you have. Aquatic turtles require 75% of the tank to be water, semi-aquatic turtles require 50%, and tortoises require 25% or less. Keep a thermometer in the water so you can monitor the temperature to make sure it doesn't get too cold or warm. If you have a red-eared slider, map turtle, or painted turtle, Know that these are aquatic turtles, so they need at least 75% of the tank to be water. You can also use a piece of driftwood instead of a rock. If your tank is mostly filled with water, try a floating basking rock. Put the lamp high enough so that it's at least 4 to 6 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters, away from the top of the turtle when the animal is basking. This will prevent the light from burning the turtle. Use a mechanical and biological filter that's twice the size of your tank. For example, if your tank is 55 gallons, 208 liters, get a filter that can handle at least 110 gallons, 416 liters. Pick one that is both mechanical and biological filtration, too. Mechanical will clean out physical objects, while biological will remove dangerous chemicals. You can find filters for your tank at a pet supply store or from an online retailer. Decorate your turtle's habitat with plants and rocks if you want to. To make the tank more aesthetically pleasing or to provide entertainment for your pet, add decorations like aquatic plants, peat moss, or large rocks. Make sure you leave enough open space for your turtle to move around freely though. Some popular aquatic plants for turtle tanks include hornwort, java fern, or waterweed. Avoid using gravel or rocks smaller than your turtle's head. Otherwise, your pet may try to eat them and could choke. You can also use fine sand or fluoride to line the bottom of the tank. Don't pick rocks or sand from nature, though, as they can contain harmful bacteria. Buy the materials from a pet store or online retailer. Keep your turtle tank out of direct sunlight and away from other animals. If you have other pets in your house, make sure the tank is somewhere that they can't get to, like on a counter or table. Choose a spot that's in a room temperature area that doesn't get too cold or cold. Clean the tank at least once a month. Keep your turtle in a bucket, bowl, or carrying case while you clean the tank. Give your turtle a diet of 25% pellets, 25% protein, and 50% plants. Feed your pet pelleted food made specifically for turtles, along with protein, like fish or insects. For plants, choose dark leafy greens like lettuce, cabbage, kale, or dandelion leaves. You can also give your turtle veggies like broccoli or celery. Chop it into small bite-sized pieces first. Buy turtle pellet food from a pet store or online retailer. Some popular protein options for turtles include earthworms, caterpillars, crickets, and mosquito fish. Warning. Avoid giving your turtle scraps of your own food or food from other pets. It can make them sick. Feed young turtles daily and adult turtles every other day. Because juvenile turtles require more nutrition and calories, give younger turtles under the age of 7 the proper mix of food every day. Feed adult turtles, which are older than 7, 4 to 5 times a week. 
Measure out their food by giving them an amount equal to the size of their head. If you go to feed your turtle and there's leftover food from the day before, remove it and give your turtle fresh food. Old food will decay and dirty up the tank. Another way to determine how much food to give your turtle is to feed them an amount that they can eat within 15 to 20 minutes. Use fruit sparingly as a treat. While most turtles love fruit, only give it to your pet occasionally as a treat since it doesn't provide as much nutritional value. Feed your turtle pieces of berries, grapes, melon, or apple every third or fourth meal, for instance. Cut the fruit up into tiny bite-sized chunks to make it more manageable for your pet. Wash your hands before and after handling your turtle. Always rinse your hands with soap and water whenever you touch your turtle. This prevents you from passing germs to your turtle and from your turtle spreading harmful bacteria, mainly salmonella, to you. To be extra careful, wash your hands before and after touching anything in the turtle's tank too. Use two hands to pick up your turtle, being extra careful with its shell. Never pick up your turtle by its tail, by the back of the shell, or with one hand. Place your hand securely around the middle of the shell to gently lift it, keeping the turtle right side up. Set it down carefully when you're finished so you don't injure its legs or organs. Don't turn the turtle quickly, wave it around, or flip it over in a full circle while you're holding it. Avoid tapping or hitting the turtle's shell, which is very sensitive. Monitor your turtle to notice any changes in behavior or appearance. Keep an eye on your pet so you can identify if there are any drastic changes, like weepy eyes or refusing to eat. If you do notice something concerning, take your turtle to the vet immediately. Pay attention to your turtle's shell, too. Talk to your vet if you see anything abnormal, like a softened shell or a shell that's growing in a pyramid shape. Thank you for watching. If you want more turtle care videos, make sure to like video, comment, and subscribe.